<laughs> Zon, you're hopeless at this. Look, I may not be very good at this, but I've got a trick for you that will make even the best catcher find it very hard to hold the ball. It's Dr. Zahn's world famous how to stop your hand working trick. Now, what this trick does is prevent one of your hands from working. Does anyone have any idea how we might do a trick like that? Ah, uh, Hill? If you put your hand up like that, like, mm -hmm. so oh, the blood goes down. Oh, I like this. So if you have your hand up long enough, the blood supply isn't quite as good and it might go a bit numb and tingly. Nice idea. But who wants to see a trick that will stop you being able to move your fingers? Me! OK, great. Chris, stick your thumb out like that and then use this hand, wrap it around your thumb, and then I want you to squeeze your thumb as hard as you can and count to 60, OK? Are you ready? Go. One, two, three, four. 31, 32, 33, 59. OK, 60. now relax that hand and very slowly and gently pull your thumb out. And now what I want you to do as slowly as possible is open the fingers on that hand. They've got stuck and I can't move them, and I am trying to do it very slowly. Now try and do it quickly. Flick your hands open. There you go. And your hand's working again. All right, who wants to have a go at that? Me! Go. One, two, three, three four, five, seven, six, 58. Keep trying. 59. Okay. 60. Now, very slowly get that thumb out. OK? So who's stuck? I can't stir. Are you really stuck? OK, open your hand quick. OK, so in three, two, one, open your hand. <laughs> Willow, tell us what happened and why do you think it happened? It felt a bit like a cramp, but, like, not as bad. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it happened because we've been squeezing it so hard for so long. When you hold your hand in that position for a long time at a very high pressure, it squeezes some of the fluid away from around the tendon. And so the tendons get a bit stickier and find it harder to pull your fingers straight. And as soon as you shake it out, the fluid can flow back and it all starts working again properly. Who thought that was a good trick? Me! Ouch. At the emergency department in Liverpool, seven-year-old Ava is waiting with her mum. What have you hurt, Ava? Me hand. Ooh, your finger's looking swollen. How did that happen? Ava was happily jumping on her trampoline with her mate, Chloe, but it all went wrong with the crab. It was that wicked pirate, Pincers O'Crabby. O-R. Um, I'm not sure... It was. Listen up. I've had a proper thinky. I know how she hurt her pinky. No, Zond. Ava was doing fancy landings. So amazing at the old hand standing. Stop. In came the crab with his pincers no, ready. No, Pincers O'Crabby. Oh, all right, then. Ava went from a handstand into the crab gymnastics move and she bent her little finger back. Ouch! You won't be doing that again in a hurry, will you? The dogs have sent Ava straight to X-ray to see if there's a break. Get ready for your close-up, Ava. Fantastic, Ava. That's you all finished, OK? Thank you. Time to find out what the damage is. <laughs> I'm really nervous. Well, don't worry. Here's nurse Jenny Cardis. When it comes to fixing fingers, She's a dab hand. Here's Ava's X-ray. And looking at her X-ray in this view, you can see that she has a fracture to her middle phalanx of her little finger. You've got a little break to the middle bone there. So I think I'd like to get her assessed tomorrow morning, if that's OK. The plastic surgeons will assess her and they'll decide whether or not she needs some kind of intervention and maybe surgery on it. Ava's little finger is temporarily strapped up and she'll be back to see a surgeon tomorrow. Bye, Ava. Bye. Next morning, she's back. And here's surgeon Pandreek Sama to look at this dodgy digit. We follow the edge of the bone. Boom. Something not quite smooth. So, does Ava need an operation? I don't think everything's bent sufficiently out of shape that we need to do an operation for. Phew. No operation needed here. But you do need a splint and cast. Any final questions? What's your favourite TV programme? Um, <clears throat> obviously Operation Outshaver. <laughs> that's the correct answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So that's this one all wrapped up. It feels weird. Or is it? Bye! Find out later on.